Hey everybody, I'm Mike Levy. We're here at Sea Otter and I'm with Ben Cathro, who's not only exceptionally tall, he's also the team leader of the Pink Bike World Cup team. Today, we're gonna talk about his Santa Cruz V10 race bike. Is this your race bike for Sea Otter? This doesn't seem like the ideal bike for the Sea Otter downhill track. Yeah, well, I just really like the color yellow and, you know, I just wanted to bring it out here, show everyone the nice color and uh, scoot my way down the track without pedals on. All right, that's, I don't know if that strategy is going to work out, but let's get into some details here. First off, I know you're tall, but how tall are you and what size bike is this? Okay, so I'm six foot seven and it works out around about 198, 199 centimeters. And this is an XL V10, which when I got, when I started riding them, I thought was huge. Yeah, it doesn't feel that big anymore though. Bikes have grown a lot. Yeah. So I've actually got a reach extending cup to get another seven mil of reach. Is that the same thing that the Syndicate guys were running? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so they've got some Chris King made ones and they do the same, seven yep. mil reach. Menard's actually doing a weird angle set one to do funky Menard things. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm just going seven mil longer in the front. Okay, so what is the reach on this bike before you put that in? Do you remember? Um, four, nine, one, I think in the low setting on the flip chip. Yep. And now it's, yeah, I think it's around four, nine, seven, four, nine, eight. But the, honestly, the head angle of the forks and stuff messes things up. It's around about 500. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I want to talk about another change that you've made to your frame. It's down here at the dropouts. Yeah. And it looks like <laughs> these are these are some clamps. Like maybe this is a little. Give them the clamps. <laughs> give them the clamps. <laughs> maybe this is a little undercover. I have a feeling that maybe we're not supposed to be drilling in on this, it's, but it's it's not a stock adjustment, in it, that's for sure. Right. So where did these come from first? So Greg Minar from the Syndicate has been experimenting with loads of different things on his bike. He mm -hmm. loves he loves to faff about with different things. And then he decided that the stock back end was better. Yep. But I'm a bit taller than Greg, and I like a big back end. So I was hunting in about the syndicate truck. Yeah. And uh, Lyle, the mechanic, was like, what are you doing? And then I was like, can I have that? Handed it to me, and I've been trying it out. Got it sprayed up to match the frame. I think it looks good, and it rides, for me, really nice. It's like uh, just a little bit more stable. How much length does it add to the back? Great question, he wasn't sure. <laughs> Perfect. They made two, one was like 15 mil longer, one was 10 mil, and he was like, I don't know which one it is, but yeah. here you go. Either so, way, it, it works well for you. It's around about 470 mil back end. Okay, uh, 470? Mm. Wow, Yeah. that well, is huge. It's getting close to the like 50-50 split between front and center, yeah. or reach and uh, the chain stick. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I noticed that it's also got a custom brake adapter mount. Yeah. machined up as well. You need that obviously because the wheel yep. is sitting in a different place in the swing arm. Exactly, yeah, it just yeah. sits it right in the correct spot so it's direct mount 203, yep. very handy. Yeah, okay. So let's move on to suspension now. The team is sponsored by Olens. Mm. You've been a Fox guy for like a decade? A long time. A long time. Long time. From yeah. a racer's perspective, like I know you guys don't like changing. You like, you, you, knew, you know what works. So from your perspective, mm. what is this like? Are you nervous? Are you... So some racers don't like changing because uh, they get really set in their ways. Yeah. I just always ran Fox because my friend works for them. <laughs> it's really nearby. I mean, that seems like a good reason. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I actually get really excited by change. Like yeah. I, I've been known in the past to like get a race bike the day before a World Cup and then just be like, yeah, I'm running that because oh, that's, like that's new. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm really excited to learn the new Olin system. It's totally yeah. different to the way Fox works. Like they're more. Olin's is more damping rather than in uh, spring. Yep. So uh, like I've gone down 50 pounds in the spring rate and which seems mad to me. Yeah. Uh, but I haven't even had a chance to ride it and test it yet. We literally got it, stuck it on, brought it to the event and I kind of looking forward to going back to Scotland to try it. I'm looking at these rims here. These are reserved. This is a mm -hmm. reserved wheel set. Mm -hmm. They look like they've been through a war. They're still on this bike. What's the story? So. Very first 29 inch V10, I got back in 2019 with these wheels yeah. and I've just been ripping them <laughs> for the past the same years. Ones. The same ones. And dude, like, including racing? Yeah, like they still, they're still going strong. And like I, we've got new ones for the team, uh, but I like the red hubs with the red grips and the red logos in the rims. So I just stuck these ones on. And the yellow though, I'm, I'm not convinced Ben, I'm not gonna lie with this yellow and the red, but hey, what do I know? Mm. Let's talk about these tires because these tires are brand new. Mm. Uh, they're not brand new to you though. You, nah. I was all excited to see them and Ben's like, oh, I've been running those for a year. Yeah. I've been getting messages like from like the, you know, like the internet sleuths. Yeah. And they're like, what, what are those? And you're like, 
can't tell you. Uh, so yeah, the Conti guys sent them for me to try because they were talking about sponsoring the team yep. for this year. So I ran them all last year at the World Cups. The rubber is so, so sticky, like super grippy. Mm -hmm. The tread patterns look quite similar to other tread patterns. That's gonna because last 10 minutes of me skidding. Not even. Don't skid. What? Just don't do it. That seems like a weird approach, but. <laughs> <laughs> so no, you like them anyway? Super grippy, yeah. yeah, and like ran them all last year and I had no blowouts or punctures, which for me is like really, really like keen. So tell me something else about this bike that's very particular to you. Are mm. you very particular about something on here or are you a pretty easy going racer? Mm, I would say I'm easy going. But then we started the team. We've got Henry yeah. Mechanic in for me. I've heard of that guy, Henry Quinney, the mechanic. Has he been remembering to tighten all the bolts? Occasionally. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, yeah, he says I'm actually quite fussy about stuff. Okay. Like he'll do things and I'll be there like, oh, oh, could you, oh yeah. just do this. So like I do like some funky things like, uh, not really supposed to, but sometimes I take some of the top rings off the cassette just so I run like a seven speed. Yep. But this one, I'm just running full 10 speed and it's really good. Yep. Other things, like I'm really particular about uh, my bar roll. Yeah. Like I like to have the up sweep going up. Like a lot of people Straight kind of- Straight up, you don't roll them back a little bit. Yeah, well, I think it is comfier like that, but then I don't like how I lose my reach. So I do, oh, I have yeah. them coming straight up. Yeah. How wide are your handlebars? Uh, full 800. Okay. And with the grips on, it's about 810. Yep. And then uh, other than that, yeah, reasonably easy going. Yeah, no stress. Okay, where are you heading to next with this thing? Where, where should we watch out? Where's the next, it's all downhill from here, podcast gonna be recorded at? I'll be Fort William, probably in the rain, yeah. uh, side of the road. Yep. Bagpipes playing. Are you excited for Fort Bill? Uh, yes. Hell yeah. yeah. I can't wait. Just gotta get the shoulder working properly and then yeah. we'll let her rip in Fort William. Yeah, all right, we'll be watching out for that. Everybody else out there, make sure to keep an eye out for the PB team at Fort William and the rest of the World Cups, and also for more coverage from Sea Otter 2022. Mm. Cut! Dude, that was sick. Get your B-roll, let's get out of here.